right, a very good morning. So it's good to see you this uh, morning. Thank you for making time for us. This is Your World. My name is Winnie Lubem. And of course, like we said, today we want to put a special focus on our children. And that is as far as the effective use of play-based activities to improve performance in children in school. And of course, we all know the right to safe, inclusive and quality education. They need to be educated for life in a safe and nurturing environment in order to lead productive and fulfilling lives. So like I said, today we'll be talking about the effective use of play-based uh, activities. And this is to improve the performance of children in schools, an initiative by the World of so what is it all about? Well, you want to stick around until the end of the show to understand that and much more. But of course, the question that we have for you is when you look back, and that is as far as your early childhood days and school, what is it? What memories do you have? I'm really, really curious to find out what the days were like in school for you back then. Okay, so feel free to interact with us on our social media platforms. That is uh, at NTV Kenya and uh, Lubembe underscore Winnie, that is on Twitter, on Facebook, and it is at NTV Kenya. And of course, let us uh, have this conversation as far as how best that we can help our learners in school enjoy school school at the same time and that is on the let's play and learn initiative so without further ado let me introduce my guests and of course on my far right i am joined by elena wangui who's a project manager let's play and learn world division kenya how are you doing today i'm very fine yeah thank you for having us and thank you for coming i'm really really curious to understand what let's play and learn is all about uh, you know because it actually reminded me of the days you know when we were in school and um, you know, at the same time playing, uh, you know, and learning. Um, and of course, also, uh, we also have James Parsime Olekaria, who's a board <laughs> of management chairman of Lorganayo Primary School in Narok South. I hope I did not butcher <laughs> any of those terms. How are you doing today? Thank you so much for coming. Asante sana, asante sana uh, kuja. And of course, we also have Dr. Esther Kimani, Deputy Director, Education Sector, Nairobi County Government. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing well. Thank, Thank you, you so much uh, for joining us this morning. And of course, first things first. Um, Elena, let me start with you. Yes. The learning through play, uh, you know, approach. I'm pretty sure so many people are curious to understand what exactly is it about? And, uh, you know, how do you implement the same? Oh, thank you very much. Maybe we can start by saying I'm um, Elena Wangui, project manager for Let's Play and Learn. It's about learning and also playing. Mm -hmm. Learning through play, it is a, a pedagogy which involves a spectrum of prayerful activities mm -hmm. whereby we have uh, child-centered and teachers-centered uh, activities that en enable learners to be able to, to acquire mm -hmm. variety of learning uh, as they participate in different activities. Mm -hmm. So the teacher needs to plan for different activities in class okay. and also allow learners mm -hmm. to explore um, on themselves as they do different activities in class. All right. So there is a lot of planning that take place in the learning through play pedagogy mm -hmm. because uh, it has to be a prepared environment mm -hmm. to ensure that learning is taking place mm -hmm. because there are a variety of ways of learning. Yeah. F just from the philosophers who have uh, talked about uh, how children learning they learn through play. They also learn through doing. So um, learning through play, it's a new way of uh, uh, organizing classroom experiences in a fan-based fan way rather than the traditional mm -hmm. way of teaching okay. or learning. All right. And yes. of course, let me uh, throw this to you, Dr. Esther. In terms of the traditional way of learning, mm -hmm. can we get to understand so that we really understand the magnitude as far as incorporating play as well? as learn in school. Okay, the, the traditional way of learning, as she's putting it, is the academic focused learning, mm -hmm. which we have uh, gradually moved from, and we have shifted to a more learner-centered uh, way of learning, okay. which of course incorporates uh, play, because play uh, is known to actually be a holistic way of uh, development mm -hmm. whereby learners when they are involved in free play mm -hmm. or self-directed play they are 
learning a lot. Sometimes it doesn't just have to be free play. It can be guided by a caregiver okay. or a teacher mm -hmm. or a parent, whereby you intentionally mm -hmm. have some content that you want these learners to learn mm -hmm. or to or to acquire, okay. and you direct and you scaffold mm -hmm. the learn the play activities to ensure that whatever it is that you want the learners to learn mm -hmm. is actually achieved through a certain play activity. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So it's more intentional. It is um, intentional. Other than just letting them play because well they need to play but it's whatever it is that the, whatever activity that they are involved in it's sort of in tandem to what they are supposed to learn for example for that day yes it is intentional mm -hmm. through an understanding that there is a lot that is achieved through play so as they play you sometimes let them to freely engage in playful activities but then you also engage them in intentional deliberate playful activities with whatever you want them to learn in mind. So you are going to scaffold to build onto the content that you want them to learn as they continue with their playful and, uh, activities. Yeah, at yes. the same time. Yes. And of course, let's speak to, to, to James um, and the Olonga Naio Primary School. Um, how different Mweza uh, could implement uh, this uh, Let's Learn and Play project and Mweza Idiaji, especially Watoto. Uh, Olorang and Ayo, Nikua Chairman was Shule. Uh, Amanikua Muakilisha was us. Pale, Libo Leto, I must see CBC. To see to go as Azi to me a part of Yukumi of Saidia William Toto. Cause a babu could not fit to Ambazo. Okay, Kuna Katu to Mutota Luana Patuaka Sukuja Kuanya in Bad. Like any pile of Zazi will not do Mutota and Angai Kapa, would you tell Saidia Haji? unakuja unakuta anaandika sio anatafuta nini hapa mm -hmm. lakini wewe ukiwa msasi unasema hiyo ni kasi ya shule kasi ya shule mm -hmm. lakini kwa sasa hivi mm -hmm. tumepata nafasi ya kusaidia ile mtoto kwa sababu kuna vitu sasa inatakiwa pale mama unapoenda sokoni ama baba kuna hiyo tu karatasi ya masiwa kuna hizo plastic unamaliza maji yako umejua inatumika kwa mtoto unaweka mahali unapofika nyumbani unampatia ule mtoto tusema hata akisema anataka kuandika kitu ama kuchora najua kwa sasa sisi wa Masai tuko na ujusi ya kutengeneza na shanga yes sasa sasa wengine wanakuja wanasema nataka niundiwe kitu ya green mm -hmm. ama nyekundu mm -hmm. unatumia ile shanga yako uh -huh. ama shuka kama hii kwa hivyo sasa katika hii mambo wanasema CBC sisi tukiwa wasasi na tena wasasi wamefurahi juu mtoto anaitisha ile kitu yeye anajua na yesapata mm -hmm. kwa hivyo mtoto mzazi mm -hmm. amejisikia kwamba sasa anaweza saidia mtoto kwa sababu akiambia anataka iki ana, kuna nafasi ya kusunguka na kupata ile kitu kumsaidia ile mtoto like na wamejitolea yeah. yeah i like that because um, for, for some time we've had a lot of parents say hey, hey. sasa tutafute uh, feathers tukopeleke <laughs> so that the child uh, you know helps them in one way or the other but how engaging is this? And then I'll come back to the question of how then different is it from CBC? Is it different or is it coming in to sort of complement what CBC is doing? But Elena, first of all, in terms of how engaging this is, especially for the learner before we bring in the caregiver. Okay, uh, uh, with this project, uh, we are doing this project in two counties, Narok and Kakamega. We are uh, in Narok, we are working in um, uh, Narok South sub, uh, sub county and Matete sub county. In uh, each of the sub counties, we are working with 20 schools. So, in total, 40 schools, and we are targeting uh, grade one, two, three, to three learners and their teachers. In this, we, we start by training teachers on how to do the play based uh, pedagogy, how to, to integrate learning. Um, uh, how to integrate play in learning, how to organize materials, how to organize their lessons as they teach, especially language activities. Uh, in so doing, we will fi you find that teachers require a lot of resources. They require a lot of resources to 
to do different activities, different games. That's how we have been able to um, bring on board parent because uh, parent engagement and empowerment, it's one of the guiding principles in the CBC. Okay. So through that, we are able to bring parents on board to, and we have trained them on how to develop locally available uh, resources, recycled materials. We are able to, in, to, to change that to become teaching aids to, so that those teaching aids can be able to uh, support the teacher. Noting that where we are working, we are working with the marginalized community, okay. most vulnerable, because as World Vision, we target vulnerable community where we have pockets of poverty. So uh, World Vision is supporting 40 schools in those two sub, uh, sub counties. Eh? Mm -hmm. So um, majority of the community that we are working with, okay. they are not able to go and purchase resources. Mm -hmm. If they are told, go and uh, print this yeah. as it is happening in the city, they are not able to do that. Yeah. So what we have done as World Vision is to capacity build right. the teachers and the parents mm -hmm. so that they are able to support mm -hmm. the CBC and uh, the activities in class. Okay. So we, we bring on board parents in school. Mm -hmm. We train them how to develop uh, materials mm -hmm. based on uh, certain um, topics mm -hmm. or activities that the teacher needs to conduct in class. Okay. And we, at the end of the day, we, sh we have enough materials for each and every learner All in right. class. Okay. So we have, uh, ha have a lot of uh, uh, achievement um, in terms of uh, improving on the reading uh, abilities or reading skills okay. because they are able to integrate materials yeah. as they do their the lessons. And I'll the come back to, lesson. to, to yeah. the, the successes of the theme um, yes. of the project, but mm. I'm curious in terms of when was it implemented mm. um, and why those specific counties that is Narok and Kakamega? Why is there any other reason aside from the fact that you're dealing with, again, marginalized communities? Is there any other reason why you targeted the two counties to begin yeah. with? But yeah, thank you. Thank you for asking that. Um, when we do the, our implementation, we are guided by the SGD, to, uh, SGD especially SGD4, uh, which is uh, talking about uh, uh, issues of education. And uh, the, the, uh, that's how we are able to, to inform our programming, right. our transformative programming. And we are also guided by d data. Right. Like uh, this, this data for the la uh, last sensor, we were able to look at that. We are able to see where areas where, where we have uh, marginalized community, mm -hmm. pockets of poverty, and we also carry out a research, baseline study, mm -hmm. to establish like the level of literacy. Mm -hmm. So before we started this, we did a baseline in, uh, in those uh, two sub-counties, mm -hmm. and the literacy level were wanted. Mm -hmm. They were below. Okay. So this project was uh, uh, born uh, to be able to uh, to approve mm -hmm. the the skills, the literacy levels of uh, these learners in those two those sub counties. Two so right. we are guided by data. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm. And of course, uh, in terms of then the C uh, this let's learn and let's play and learn. Um, and of course, we also have the CBC. So yes. is there any way that this is different, or are they more or less of complementing each other? Uh, they're not different. Okay. I would say that uh, they're complementary because uh, CBC is learner-centered, like I said earlier, mm -hmm. and uh, it focuses on the competencies and the skills that a learner uh, is able to acquire right. and develop. Mm -hmm. And when we're talking about uh, learning through play, these competencies are brought out. For example, when we, uh, maybe children are involved in a game like hide and seek, mm -hmm. for example, yeah. uh, you would find that uh, there are very many areas of development and also of learning okay. that are involved. Right. When learners, they, they, they practice, when they are doing hide and seek, they practice uh, such virtues as patience, mm. 
Yeah. Yes, which is a virtue. Yes. Which is a like virtue, yes. Patients, and yes. we know that CBC is value-based. And is this both ways for the parent, I mean for the caregiver and for the for the learner as well, because sometimes uh, patients, especially when it comes to Yes, and actually the these ones, are the yeah. values that we want to impart in our learners because they are lifelong. CBC is targeting lifelong learning, not just that academic, whereby when I score an A, that is That's the end it. to it. Yeah. No, we want lifelong learning. So when such learners are engaging in such a place, like uh, such a game like hide and seek like I said they will uh, get some virtues when they are doing you're hiding and I'm seeking you we are communicating okay. one of the core competences in CBC so there is communication they are learning um, uh, they are playing amongst one another so there is also collaboration they will learn how to share items when we are talking about materials that, uh, like uh, the materials that Elena is talking about yeah. and of course there are skills like those ones of creative, critical thinking that are being developed. Because some of the games are not just, um, you know, those very vigorous games, yeah. but they are also mind-boggling, mm -hmm. whereby their creativity yeah. is triggered mm -hmm. and they are able to think outside the box. Okay. So you find that they get to acquire some of these uh, skills. So I would say that uh, learning through play is complementary to CBC. To and that is why also CBC has a great emphasis on materials mm -hmm. and not just uh, you know parents uh, there was a misconception about CBC yeah. and materials the parents uh, talked about exhaustion they're like we can't it's yes. too much yes what you what the schools are actually requesting and I like yeah. what uh, World Vision is doing because yeah. they're demystifying that uh, saying that we are not talking about those expensive things mm -hmm. We are talking about locally available, and our parent here has said, yes. Zile material mbazo, wakonazo. Yes, whatever, locally available materials. Mm -hmm. So what I can identify with. Okay. I like the example that he gave mm -hmm. of using beads. Mm -hmm. They are locally available to the Maasai community. Mm -hmm. So in your community as a parent, mm -hmm. what is locally available to you? Okay. Use that. Okay. And mm -hmm. All right. facilitate and James, learning. we literally have like one minute to go on a break, but um, there's a taka kuelewa. Um, ukiangalia before and after. Uh, after we introduce um, the play and learn mm. uh, initiative, ni difference gani ime make, especially kwa wanafunzi? Uh, ya kwanza, mm. eh, ii mambo ya CBC mefanya watoto wote kuwa sawa. Okay. Kwa sababu, wakati ule kuna vitu ilikuwa inafaa kununulewa na siyo kila msasi angiapata ile kitu. Mm -hmm. Lakini kwa sasa hivi, kila msasi anayasa afford kulete plastic, mm -hmm. kulete sticks, Na juu hata mambo ya stick hii tunakata tu mstuni hii. Mm -hmm. Inavanya hata mtoto kufanya hila isabu 1, 2, 3. Yes. Na vitu kama hiyo shanga. Mm -hmm. Ama eh, bits kama maragwe, maindi mm -hmm. na inafanyika katika hile mambo ya samadhi. Kwa hivyo, mimi nawana wakati huu. Mm -hmm. Ndiyo watoto mm -hmm. wameapata mwelekeo katika hile mm -hmm. masomo. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's take that with. But of course, when we come back, Elena would want to understand. Okay, because you have some materials are uh, here for us. So I'd want to see uh, how exactly then is the the let's um, play and learn or let's learn and play. Uh, you know, approach is and especially when it comes to using this materials. Um, you know, and especially for the learners. But if you have any other question in relation to what we're discussing today, and that is the effective use of play-based activities to improve the performance of children in school, feel free to direct them our way either on social media at NTV Kenya at Lubembe underscore Winnie. The hashtag is your world. But if you want to call in live and ask your question again, feel free to do so. But of course, all that is coming up after the short break. Stay with us. This is your world. Communications Authority of Kenya, CA, regulates the broadcasting industry, promoting development of local content and ensuring responsible use of broadcasting platforms for national good. The Communications Authority of Kenya, opening your world. 
unapohisima umivu unahitaji kitulizo kinachotegemeka jaribu Panado Advance ikitumia teknolojia Panado Optizob tembe hiyo hufyonzo haraka na kuandaa kitulizo cha haraka fidi ya maumivu jaribu Panado Advance God is always engaged in our affairs. He's engaged in your life. He's engaged in the life of our community. He's engaged in the life of our church. He's engaged in the life of our nation. On this week's episode of The Best Of, Free up your schedule to give you a spa day. This is an award-winning spa. We pride uh, in ourselves and we believe we are number one spa in Kenya. As we experience luxurious serenity, both indoors and outdoors. This is a kahawa massage. Yes. And I go through the hard work of being pampered by the best. Hey, all those burdens are just melting away. All is well on the best of spas. <laughs> Watatu, wawili wako entrance mmoja kwa surveillance. Pacho iko sote tayari. Eh bado kitu mimi naiko risky. Si tukae hivi tuifikirie alafu. Maybe kitu isha kwa planned. Does it break down say? It's so busy nowadays. You won't even notice if something is missing. I I can and you you must be exhausted. You've been doing so much. So just sit down and take a wee break and I'll handle this. I got you sis. I feel so at one here. I should bring this zen into my house. When it comes to all things paint, we've got you covered. We know paint. Duracoat. Ask the experts. Welcome back, glad you're still with us. We went through some bit of the let's play and learn. <laughs> um, of course, during the break, it's very, very interesting. And of course, Ellen is here to help us understand how um, exactly this is done. And of course, like we said, we have some materials here just to show you what exactly happens. So, Elena, do you want to take us through um, what exactly? Because me, I can see it's just bottle with some water inside and a bit of labeling. That's it. <laughs> in in this project, mm -hmm. we are promoting use of uh, recycled materials, okay. which are cost effective and affordable okay. to the community. And this this is a, this can be affordable to everybody. Mm -hmm. So when you drink uh, water, mm -hmm. you don't throw that bottle. You use it as uh, to make a teaching aid. Mm -hmm. So here we 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 have uh, we have uh, bottles, mm -hmm. and uh, we we also have we have labeled them with different vocabularies. Mm -hmm. So this vocabulary can come from a, a certain topic. Okay. After the teacher teaches a certain topic, uh, the teacher can write dif uh, different vocabularies on that bottle. So we, we, it has water inside for stability. Okay. So the, here we can play a game called aiming game mm -hmm. or a skittle game. Mm -hmm. So aiming game, you need to use a link. Okay. So uh, it's also a competition game. Oh yeah. So I will draw to and he a and aim. Okay. Any At any of those. Any of those. All right. So uh, whichever bottle I I get, I need to read that vocabulary. Mm -hmm. I read it and also read for the class. Mm -hmm. We can also use. Uh, Use them, uh, use the bottles as, as a, in another game called Skittle game, mm -hmm. whereby you throw a ball and okay. hit uh -huh. on any bottle. Okay. So you hit and uh, you read uh -huh. the vocabulary on that. Ah, okay. So I can, can I demonstrate? Yes, please. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to throw okay. to any 
Uh -huh. And it's a competition, so I might uh, get it or miss, oh, miss it. it. Let's see how you're in. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. But it hit that. It that hit bottle. that one. So, so you, uh, you so I'm supposed to read. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I, I'll pick the bottle and yeah, read and the read vocabulary and read to the class. Okay. So sometimes you'll find learners who cannot be able to read, mm -hmm. even though they were able to hit to aim that bottle. Okay. So it is helping them to continuously learn yeah. how to to read the letters yes. and also read vocabulary. Work the brain, but also get to understand, yes. uh, you know, because you need yeah. to concentrate before yes. you aim. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, to, to uh, a lot of... Uh, I have the bean bag here, mm. so let me see. Yeah. Uh, let me see if my... Yeah, mm. okay. Because <laughs> we used to... Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you, like you pick the bottle and read, read the vocabulary on so that. So I hit all of them. So yeah. I would, essentially, I would wake up and, and um, pick all the bottles and read whatever and, yeah, and yeah, and okay. it's a, compet a competition game. Uh, this can be done in class. Yeah, and uh, the teacher can organize learners mm -hmm. in different groups so okay. that all of them are able to participate. Mm -hmm. So it will require a lot of preparation oh, for yes. the teacher to ensure that uh, the teacher has uh, variety. And also, uh, we are also talking about uh, issue of uh, mm -hmm. versatile. Okay, uh, being able to teach different concept. Yes, using one material. Okay. Okay. With that bottle, you can be able to teach colors mm -hmm. on the on the bottle ah, tops. Ah, okay. Yes. Whatever is, is whatever is, is being labeled the color. Yeah, they can but, read colors. They yeah. can do shapes. Uh -huh. They can also do a concept of uh, emptying and filling uh -huh. in mathematics. Okay. Measuring mm -hmm. volume capacity. Okay. All right. So the the different materials that we are making can be able to to be used to mm -hmm. teach different concept. That so the teacher doesn't have to keep on yes, keep on yeah making them. making them. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. That this is now different from the traditional academic focus. Yes. That was actually more broadly. Learning mm -hmm. and uh, memorizing. Mm -hmm. Now you can see that uh, through a game that we have all enjoyed yes, here. Yes, so much. I want to do more. It's just that <laughs> we're limited. And like she's saying, you can teach a lot of concepts. Yes. Mathematical concepts. Yes. I mean, and then I also have some sticks that, we, that James <laughs> talked about earlier yeah, on. Yeah, yes. Yeah. These have been developed by yeah. the parents. Yes. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this is complementary to CBC, like we said. Yeah. Yes. Listen, I'm an adult, but I want to play this game over and over, <laughs> and over have again. Yeah. Other materials. Yes. These are just uh, cups and okay. uh, old cups yeah. of yogurt. Mm -hmm. So we have. Uh, it's, uh, we have uh, made uh, some designs here. Uh -huh. So you use uh, both of them. Ah, okay. Uh, so this one, uh -huh. you, you want to turn it to this other side? Oh, yes, that way. Yes. That uh -huh. So this is the first one, uh -huh. and uh, we have uh, some letters on the uh -huh. here uh, on this other one. Uh -huh. So once you put it like that, uh -huh. you can ask the child to read, to read. the word, yeah. and then uh, turn, turn uh -huh. to the next letter. Uh -huh and read mm -hmm. the next word. Oh, wow. Okay. And uh, th this can be done. Uh, you can ask learners to, to read different words. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes. Okay. So you keep on rotating mm -hmm. and you are making different words from okay. this. Okay. And right. these are materials which are locally available That's and good. we can have as many of these. I like what you said earlier on. Instead of, for example, if you're using, uh, you know, the, the water bottles, the plastic water bottles, instead of throwing them away, mm -hmm. you can actually mm -hmm. um, use them for, for this. So it's, it's like you're doing mm -hmm. several things in one. And of course, one of them is being environmental conscious as well, with the learners are also taught in school to be responsible um, as well. So this this is very, very um, interesting, and I'm curious to 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 know um, the plans. Um, you know, as far as then rolling out countrywide. But of course, Elena, maybe you want to take. Um, you will take. You will take this. But of course, the, the aspect of challenges, and of course, James, I want you to answer this. Um, um, when you were trying to to implement this project to school, could you any um, challenges? Mm. Ni kama watu walikataa kuelewa kwanza. Mm. Hii ni kama ni mchezo. Mm -hmm. Si masomo. <laughs> si unakuja kuleta nini unaleta nini. Mm -hmm. Lakini tulipoendelea. Kwa sababu kuna vile wasasi wanakuwa alichipin. Tunaambiwa tutengeneze, tunatumia makonge, mm -hmm. tunawatengenezea watoto hii na hii. Mm -hmm. Tunawachonea, tunawatengeneza kitu kama hii letters unasiona hapa hivi. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
sasa wasasi kwa sababu waliingia wakasema sisi ndio tunasoma ama ni watoto wanasoma but okay. all in all uh -huh. ilikuja kuelewa uh -huh. ilielewa vizuri sana uh -huh. na hata ambaga sisi wasasi uh -huh. tumependa kufanya ile kazi uh -huh. sasa sasa ukiingia madarasa mwetu huko shuleni hiyo uh -huh. ndio wazungu walikuwa nasema talking class yes. unakuta mtoto yeye ameangalia huko uh -huh. amesoma kidogo I mean, mwingine ameangalia huko yes. Yes. Mungina anasoma tofauti huko yeah. kwa sababu mm -hmm. tunasema mm -hmm. let us play as we learn. Yes. Kwa hivyo wakati kuna vile wakati walikataa kuelewa kwanza. Okay. Alright. Lakini kufikia sasa mmekuja mm -hmm. kubainika na wamependa. Yeah. yeah. And also talking about marginalized communities because there's also the aspect of illiteracy levels not only among young children but mm -hmm. also some adults as well so james well is the same magic kama nyinyi kama wazazi ama the community may find from this initiative in terms of kusoma pia uh if we was idea pia nyinyi ama ama the other communities pia kujua kusoma because if if we do something like we we did now you hit um your bottle pia wewe mzazi pia unachukua unasoma <laughs> so how has that helped kama community hapo hapo mbeleni nilikuambia wasasi ilifika wa mali wanasema ni sisi ndio tunasoma ama ni watoto kwa hivyo sisi tukiwa community pale imetusaidia sisi kwanza kuelewa vile mtoto wako anafaa kufanya okay na hata kutengeneza ile vitu kuna vile kitu unatengeneza mm. ukiangalia kama chupa kama hii ya maji mhm mm msasi amekuja kujua mm. kumbe hii hii maji mm. inakuanga na kasi ati kuna vile wanasema si folium si hii mm. ni rangi gani hii ni yes. nini kwa hivyo yes. katika ile community imetusaidia kwa sababu hata ile kupata kumletea ile mtoto ile kitu anahitaji mm unaweza kupata kwa sababu tunasema available mm -hmm. local material yes. available yes kama hiyo maji hii nasema mm -hmm. nasema bin bag mhm mm kitu kama hii ni msazi ametengeneza hii mhm mm kwa hivyo inamsaidia pia ina yeye kuelewa all those mm -hmm. things okay yes we have actually uh, seen mm -hmm. with the interaction of materials and especially involving the parents mm -hmm. in assisting the children to make materials mm -hmm. is uh, that aspect of unity mm -hmm. There is more unity and bonding within families and within children yeah. and children get to be motivated to mm -hmm. learn when they see that their parents are interested in whatever they are learning. Yeah. So unlike before mm -hmm. when they were uh, kind of uh, yeah. detached. Zile za wewe umefanya homework. It is you. you it has nothing your to teacher, do with me. Yes. Nitu kushtaki kwa mwalimu. <laughs> it is now no longer kushtaki kwa mwalimu. Yeah, it is everybody let's do this on together. board. That's the nice. parent, yeah. the teacher, mm -hmm. the learner. Okay. And also we are emphasizing on values. Mm -hmm. We are emphasizing on citizenship. Mm -hmm. We are seeing that this unity mm -hmm. is bringing back the moral fiber okay. that we were almost losing as a yes. country, as a nation yeah. and as a society. Yeah. And so we are finding that this is more helpful. Mm -hmm. It is lifelong. Mm -hmm. It is actually helping us socially yeah. and as a country. Mm -hmm. And we are looking forward to reaping very great fruits Benefits of from the CBC. Sea. I like that. Yes. But even um, as far as then the growth and development of a child, because again, like Elena said, um, you're targeting grade one, two, and, and, and three, right? And yeah. of course for CBC it was mostly grade four, right? Is when, I mean, they, they were introduced into the same. So when it comes to then assisting in the growth and development um, of a child, how the brain develops, how fast the brain develops, like engaging the brain, how would you say this is um, helping? Uh, you know, in early years, Elena, early years is between zero to eight years. And that is why there is emphasis of this. This is the time of human development mm -hmm. where all the spheres of life of the child mm -hmm. are growing yeah. and a foundation is being set mm -hmm. to be ready to even receive greater concepts. Yeah. So during this time, mm -hmm. this is when you need to have a stimulating environment, mm. stimulating materials, mm -hmm. whereby you will prepare your brain for learning, you know, lifelong learning. Yeah. And you find that uh, when it comes to, for example, cognitive development, mm -hmm. your, your, your brain at that formative uh, stage mm -hmm. is being developed to grasp con co yes. concepts of yes. like mathematical concepts critical problem solving. Mm -hmm. When we come to linguistic com concepts, mm -hmm. your language is developing. You're learning new vocabulary mm -hmm. through play. Mm -hmm. You're learning how to communicate. Yeah. You're learning how to listen. That's the thing. When you're, yeah. involving, you, you're involved with uh, play with other mm -hmm. peers. Mm -hmm. You're also maybe socially, you are getting yeah. to learn to control your emotions. Mm -hmm. You are getting to learn to 
empathize with others, yeah. to put yourself in the feelings of others. Mm -hmm. uh, some yeah. virtues that you know Otherwise, we, we would were have getting. Just been, yeah, yes. you go to school, you saw me full stop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the rest well, to you as you grow. And yeah. even morally, mm -hmm. we are able to be more mindful of our environment. Mm -hmm. We are taking care of God's creation. Yeah. When we are not now throwing these bottles all over okay. the place, okay. we are now harnessing them so that we, we can use them. Mm -hmm. So you find that all spheres of development are taken care of. Okay. Yes. I see that. And of course, Elena, then, are there plans to roll out to the, to the um, rest, don't worry, are there plans to roll out to the rest of the, of the country? Yes. Okay. Um, this project, uh, we we targeted. Uh, it's a pilot project for 18 months. Pro, uh, 18 months. We started last year mm -hmm. uh, in October. It will uh, end uh, next year in um, in March. Okay. This uh, project was funded by Lego Foundation. Mm -hmm. Uh, and before I talk about the scaling up, mm -hmm. Lego Foundation, our donor, um, have been celebrating 90 mm -hmm. years of yes, existence. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the theme of the campaign was the build a world of play, mm -hmm. whereby we are trying to sensitize the, the world, <laughs> the parents, mm -hmm. and everybody yeah. why play is important. Okay. Like uh, what Dr. Tari has just uh, articulated, mm -hmm. lifelong learning, the holistic development, mm -hmm. all aspects of growth and development mm -hmm. are, are promoted by play. Mm -hmm. So uh, in this campaign, which, which uh, we are celebrating the donor, who is a Lego Foundation, mm -hmm. we are talking about why play is important. Mm -hmm. So we are looking uh, forward mm -hmm. in scaling up this project okay. because we have seen the benefit. Mm -hmm. We have worked in community in um, Nalok and also in Kakamega, Kakamega yeah. and we had also done another project in Nairobi, mm -hmm. a similar project with the Nairobi County mm -hmm. government uh, <laughs> re uh, related to learning through play. Okay. So as we add this project next year, we, are, we, are pl we have plans to okay. expand to yeah. other areas. Areas, because this is a, a one of the methods mm -hmm. that should be adopted moving forward mm -hmm. because it's so supportive to the implementation of the CBC. Mm -hmm. The core competencies that we have in the CBC, mm -hmm. they are well uh, supported mm -hmm. by learning through play. Okay. Uh, it's sort of yeah. And I'm so happy that we have Dr. Um, Dr. Esther here mm -hmm. to, to help us then what the government and related mm -hmm. parties can do uh, to promote this and that mm -hmm. is play as part of the teaching and learning process in schools. But before for that. Um, we also have so much material as well. Do you want to show us something um, you know, else very quickly? Because okay. uh, okay. we have very limited time okay. before we end, okay. um, um, we end the conversation. So apart from just training the teachers on how to develop the materials, mm -hmm. we started by training them on the aspect of the CBC. Okay. They needed to understand what is CBC mm -hmm. and that uh, component of parental engagement and empowerment, right. which is one of the guiding principles in the CBC. Okay. The reason why parents are not supportive of supporting the CBC mm -hmm. is because they don't have, they have not been trained well. Mm -hmm. They are not aware of their law and responsibility. Okay. And uh, one of the uh, uh, principles uh, for for the parental engagement and empowerment, mm. it is to use prudent use of resources. Mm. Prudent use of resources. Yeah. And you can use resources which are available. These are just seeds yeah. that we have used to make letters. Wow. And oh. the, the same concept can be uh, can be used even in other activities. Mm. Mm. Even in mathematics, mm -hmm. we have used grew and uh, seeds. Yeah. We have corrected this. And that's it. I can see yes. uh, Kibuyu. Well, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, kibuyu. Yes. Uh, good. <laughs> yes. Reminds me, I grew up in West Pokot and we used to see a lot of So, this. you yes. know, uh, <laughs> and also the, these are materials that are not uh, easily found yes. in the city. In the city. Yeah. So, yeah. this was an old good, yeah. but we use it in school. Yes. We use it in school. Mm -hmm. And the learners are able to, to understand, even to learn about their culture, yeah. uh, citizenship. Mm -hmm. um, they can also uh, learn some diff, uh, this beadwork. Yes, yes. Uh, we also have uh, these ah. uh, bottle tops. Okay. Oh, yeah. These are bottle tops. 
uh, so you, you <laughs> with this you can is... do the wow. letters of the alphabet yes so uh, like this. so when you're walking after finishing your bottle of water you don't throw you don't, the yes yeah and, and i like the fact that it covers all areas like we said responsibility yes. environmental conservation yes. uh you know and all those things i really really like that uh -huh. yeah i like that chart with the letters mm -hmm. that uh, where seeds are used yes this can also be used to uh, to teach uh, the concepts mm -hmm. for learners with uh, visual impairment oh, yes. because oh, they are yes. able to touch, touch it is like a braille yes. mm -hmm. so we are not leaving anyone out I really like it that. is inclusive education everybody is included yeah. yes. I really really like mm -hmm. that yeah. alright so okay and, and so then the plans in terms of what then the government can do to help scale up this project what would you say okay uh, I would say that uh, the, the government needs to actually uh, create and build the capacity of parents okay. and all the stakeholders mm -hmm. in the importance of play to learning. Mm -hmm. Like he said, walianzia na kutojua what it was. Yeah. So this needs to be brought out there so that everybody understands mm -hmm. their role. And actually, like she rightly said, mm -hmm. we had partnered with World Vision in uh, the Goretti South Sub-County mm -hmm. uh, to do the same. Mm -hmm. And actually, after this collaboration, together, uh, during the collaboration, we came up with a manual mm -hmm. that we are calling Learning Through Play, a Parental Guide. Mm -hmm. And we have actually aligned that guide, mm -hmm. that manual, mm -hmm. with the KICD's uh, guidelines mm -hmm. on parental empowerment and engagement. Okay. And we plan to scale it up, mm. to roll it out to all the 17 sub-counties in Nairobi. Okay. So that at least, uh, now it, it ceases to be a Dagoretti South project ah. and it goes to every other child mm. in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Now, secondly, what the government can do mm. is to finance play. Oh, yes. Allocate budgets. For the same. Targeted for play activities, mm. play equipment, mm -hmm. play fields. Mm -hmm. And we also know that, especially in Nairobi, I don't know about the other counties, yeah. we have a problem where, whereby spaces that had initially ah. been allocated for play fields have maybe uh, gotten other, yes, yes they have yeah. been en uh, encroached into. So these spaces can be safeguarded mm -hmm. so that they remain mm -hmm. as they had earlier been intentioned okay. for play. Yeah. So the government can do so, so much. So much, really, in yeah. supporting the and just making sure that all the learners and, and, and very quickly um, James in terms of for example parents who are watching us and thinking hey okay Mimi sina time. Mimi niko busy. <laughs> niko John. I am trying to fend for my family. What would you say uh, in terms of using this approach kwa saidi ya ototo wao um, kusoma? Uh, kwa upande ya wazazi <coughs> wanafaa kuwa na wakati okay. ya kusaidia wale watoto wao. <coughs> kwa sababu hata mtoto mwenyewe atawana ile kasi msasi yangu alikuwa ananisaidia nifanye mm -hmm. nikirudi leo ama kama sitakuwa nimefanya msasi mm -hmm. anajua hii ilikuwa ina style kufanyika mm -hmm. kwa hivyo lazima niulizwe pale nyumbani mm -hmm. na ningetaka tena kuomba wasasi wenye waja wajamua kujitolea kusaidia watoto mm -hmm wasaidia watoto wao mm -hmm. kwa sababu hakuna msasi anayesakosa kuleta plastic mm -hmm. kama ama ku hii ni matunda ya miti mm -hmm hii tulirokota na kutengeneza. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo hakuna msasi anayesa kwa sababu hana yeah. vitu kama hii. Mm -hmm. Kitu kama ile kibuyu uliwana hapa. Mm -hmm. Community mimi natoka hiyo mm -hmm. ndio vitu sisi tunatumia huko. Yes. Uwezi sema nimekosa kibuyu. Mm -hmm. Na tena nikiongezea mm -hmm. eh sijajua kama shule sote mm -hmm. siko kama hizo shule zetu kwa sababu mm -hmm. wakati wal vision waliingia huko yeah. si tumechanuka tuko mbele uh -huh. na si tumeshika hii line uh -huh. kwa hivyo nikaomba tu asasi wajitole mm -hmm. wasione kama ilikuwa kupoteza wakati mm -hmm. hii ndio masomo ya sasa mm -hmm. na inafaa tupende asante James yeah. asante and of course um and then very quickly in terms of using um let's play and learn um, approach in terms mm -hmm. of also fighting inequalities that are there especially in the education system where we find in one community some learners are actually learning under a tree and others have like the best facilities when it comes to mm. education mm. Um, or schools mm. so then when it comes to sort of like fighting inequalities what would you see very quickly before we end the show um so um learning through play uh, has been able to reach out to to uh, to reach out uh, to these learners because uh, we are talking about access and equity yes. in education mm -hmm. whereby each and every learner in Kenya should be able to access education mm -hmm. um, regarding whether they are in the city or in the old they are in the 
Okay. In the, uh, those uh, places which, uh, which are marginalized. Yeah. So the, this project uh, is coming to fill in that gap. Okay. Training teachers, training the community, mm -hmm. and, uh, and empowering the schools mm -hmm. to be able to support learning. Mm -hmm. In so doing, we have seen uh, a retention of learners in class. Mm -hmm. We have also seen in, in increased uh, enrollment. Oh, wow. Apart from these local materials, we have supported the schools with some play um, um, uh, slides and swings nice. so that uh, learners are able even yeah. to come to school yeah. early. Enjoy go to school. They enjoy go to, uh, yeah. going to school. Noting yeah. that uh, they are facing uh, some charities mm -hmm. at home, mm -hmm. but when they, they know that they have a place where they can be able to just learn freely and enjoy themselves, mm -hmm. uh, they are motivated to continue learning. Okay. And uh, the end goal of this project is mm -hmm. to have improved uh, performance mm -hmm. in terms of learning outcome of these learners okay. so that they are also at par with those who have good facilities. Okay. So we have supported the school. Mm -hmm. We are also training the board of management on how to allocate resources, mm -hmm. how they can be able to support the school okay. in terms of providing learning materials to schools. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And James, um, Elena talks about the fact that um, enrollment in Yongezeka. Mm -hmm. Have you seen this um, in your school? Wanafunzo wamekuja wengi shuleni? Wanafunzi wameja shuleni. Ata ambaka na madarasa inafaa kuongezwa. Ah, Watoto wamefurika. Okay. Katika ile shule mimi nimetoka ya mm -hmm. Olorna na hiyo primary. Mm -hmm. Watoto wamejaa shule. Oh nice. Na na sasema mm -hmm. watoto wamependa shule mm. kuliko hapo mbeleni. Ah, okay. Kwa sababu sasa wako na ile nafasi. Najua kitu moja, mm -hmm. wasasi huwa wanasumbua watoto wale nyumbani. Mm -hmm. Wewe unachasa nini hapa? Mm Hebu -hmm. uende huko ukae. Yeah. Sasa msasi anataka mtoto akae okay. na mtoto mwili yake anasema acha. Sasa yeah. pale tulipopata hii mambo ya kuchasa shuleni ama hii farayati ya ifti yote mm. watoto wamependa kutorokea shule. Ah. Kwa sababu wanasoma na wanapata nafasi no, ya kucheza. Yeah. Oh that's nice. All right. And of course Dr. S I'll have you um, I'll, I'll let you have the last word in terms of then the future of education okay. um, in the country. What does it look like? It looks very bright okay. from where I see it. Mm. Because uh, we said mm -hmm. this is at, the, at a foundational level mm -hmm. whereby we are preparing learners mm -hmm. for greater concepts. Mm -hmm. So once the learner is well prepared mm -hmm. through a uh, uh, play, uh, let's, let's play, let's play and, and learn. learn. <laughs> <laughs> let's play and learn. Yeah. Now this person is ready for even larger and huge mm -hmm. concepts. Mm -hmm. And we find that mm -hmm. they will even do more. And that is why yeah. CBC is envisioned to be the mm -hmm. one to turn around mm -hmm. the economy of this country. Yeah. Because now we are not focusing on everybody getting A's mm. in academics, mm. but everybody, every sphere of the economy mm. will be taken care of. Mm -hmm. Because if I cannot be a lawyer, oh, yes. articulating issues of people, mm -hmm. then I can be a mechanic mm -hmm. and a, a, a qualified one mm -hmm. at that, mm -hmm. whereby I can do things with my hands. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If I can cook, yeah. then I can do it to perfection. Yes. So we find that the future of this country is it's very, bright. very bright yeah. with this yeah. that is actually complementing CBC. I like that. Yes. I like that. Of course, we're ending. Ja? We, 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 two seconds? We, yeah, we <laughs> are promoting ahead. innovation and creativity. Okay. Because one of the theories that are, that are very outlined in this CBC, mm -hmm. it's about mm -hmm. the uh, multiple intelligence theory, okay. whereby learners can be able to acquire multiple intelligence. Ah, okay. And, uh, in, and, and, and participating in uh, learning through play okay. to give them an opportunity mm -hmm. to acquire different intelligences, yes. not just the academic intelligence. Yeah, but so through the this others, work, yeah. they can yeah. be able to, to create and okay. innovate yes. and also acquire even uh, uh, skills okay. that can help them, even yeah. in sporting activities. Oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Elena Ungu, Project Manager. Let's play in Learn World Vision Kenya, as well as James Parsime, uh, Ole Kariya, Board Management Chairman, Olo Nganayo Primary School in Narok South, as well as Dr. Esther Kimani, Deputy Director, Education Sector, Nairobi County Government. We say thank you to all of you for coming by. We've learned a lot. My director, Jackie, says that I'm Ricky Cho, eh? or I don't think. <laughs> is that involved? Absolutely. Yes, that is also uh, part of Let's Play and Learn Project. So I hope you've learned a lot from today's conversation. We have to end it here. My name is Wendy Lumbembe. Have yourselves a lovely day ahead. I'll see you tomorrow morning, same time, same place. But until then, like we always say, stay safe and God bless. See you tomorrow.